everybody! I'm here today to show you and tell you how to overcome laziness. I'll be going over some ways to stop being lazy. Believe it or not, I was a pretty lazy kid when I was younger. In my younger days, I was a pretty lazy kid and it was mainly because I didn't know the ways to stop being lazy. So I just accepted my laziness as sort of part of who I was. But in reality, I just needed to unlock the hardworking part of me and now I'm basically the hardest working person that I know. And I'm not trying to say that to brag, I'm trying to say it because it is the honest truth okay i literally cannot name for you someone that i know that's close to me that works harder than me and i yes i know i need to expand my circle of friends because i need some people that work harder than me so i can learn from them but in reality i've gone from being lazy to being super duper hard working i'm gonna tell you how i did it these are six tips and ways that you can stop being lazy these strategies actually work you just need to put them to good use okay and stop being lazy and actually try them so let's get right into it number one set manageable goals when i was a kid i would set unrealistic goals and that's great for me now if you're a driven person setting unrealistic ridiculous goals is great because then you're going to come close to achieving them and just far surpass what you would have achieved if you just set realistic goals but when you're lazy you need to set manageable realistic goals so literally for tomorrow for the next week for the next month you want to set short-term and long-term goals that are realistic you want them to be realistic so that you can actually achieve them to get motivation and positivity to continue achieving more and that's how you get over laziness that's that's probably the most important thing to be honest with you but that brings us to number two which is do something you're interested in okay so for myself when I was younger I was interested in video games right and you know I only want to play video games I would work hard in video games I'd play a game for eight hours I'd beat the level beat the boss blah 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 but when it came to doing things like other things that were important like you know school related stuff or chores I was just lazy and then what I realized is that if I went to work and I worked hours I could buy more games so I got a job when I was in grade seven and I was working every Saturday and Sunday like eight or nine hours every Saturday and Sunday in grade seven and I was I was like the biggest video game collector on the block for a kid okay and that's just because I found something I was interested in and I used it to fuel my non laziness nowadays I've taken that to a more massive scale and I just buy things that I'm interested in yes video games is part of it but I work hard because I'm interested in freedom I want the freedom to do whatever I want to say whatever I want to, to do anything at any time to anyone like to, to just be basically to, to have complete freedom you know in the best way possible I want to be able to just do anything to buy anything at any time and with that freedom you need to have a lot of money to get that freedom that's the reality of it in this world so I've used that goal of freedom which I'm interested in to fuel my non laziness of working super duper hard with my full time job and my businesses. So with that being said, you gotta find what you're interested in and either do that as the way of not being lazy if it's work, like if you like building things then go and build houses for a living, build decks for a living, do landscaping for a living, whatever the case is. Um, but you, you can either do it or you can use it to fuel whatever else you're doing like I said before okay if that makes sense you can if you like video games you don't have to play video games you can use it to work harder to buy more video games okay number three set rewards for completed tasks I am super duper frugal believe it or not but I reward myself all the time okay you need to set small rewards big rewards for completed tasks whenever you do anything that's substantial and even if it's like for myself if I work for like an hour straight I'll give myself five minutes to get up and stretch right and that's like if I work for an hour hustling which is like which is like two hours for everyone else okay like when I hustle hard okay so you know that would be the reward so it doesn't always have to be buying yourself things but it can be you know if you make ten thousand dollars maybe you can spend 500 bucks and buy yourself something good right ten thousand extra dollars spend a small portion of that to buy yourself something uh, something good five percent I guess that would be okay so definitely reward yourself whenever you complete a task and set those rewards so you know what you're leading up to. Number four, don't be afraid to ask for help. You know, I don't ask for help often, but if it's between asking for help and getting something done versus not asking for help and it doesn't get done, then ask for help. So don't be afraid to ask for help. Even if it's someone just helping you start and then you go by yourself, ask for help, but make sure you're participating. Don't just ask for help and let the person do the whole thing. Ask for help and you have to actually participate, okay? Number five, create a plan or a to-do list. Now you can do this in the morning, the night before, the week before, the year before, whatever you wanna do. For myself, I go to bed every single night with a to-do list for the next day, okay? 
Now my to-do list, my strategy is I make it so big that I cannot complete it so I can stay busy throughout the whole day. I will never be done. I have no desire to finish my to-do list. But if you're lazy and you want to stop being lazy, your best bet is the night before, create a manageable to-do list with a manageable schedule and complete that to-do list. And eventually you can work your way up to this level where you could just create this ridiculous to-do list and you can basically capitalize on every spare moment of the day, okay? So yeah, create a plan or a to-do list with a schedule for the next day. Number six, the last thing that you should do is set realistic deadlines. Very important. You need to have a deadline. You can't just freely do this uh, and as long as it takes, it takes. No, you need to have a deadline. Make it realistic and I'll tell you why. I have a, I have a weekly video goal for myself. I have hit or exceeded, sometimes I double or triple it, my weekly video goal of videos to film when I'm in filming mode um, uh, videos to get to sort of schedule out there for the future. Uh, right now it's 30 a week and it's the highest I've ever been. And some weeks I do 60, some weeks I do 75, some weeks I do 90. Okay. But the thing is, it's cause I have a deadline. Okay. So essentially with the deadline, I'll do whatever it takes. Some nights I'll stay up till two 30 in the morning filming or editing or scheduling those videos out to be released in the future. Okay. Um, and with the, without a deadline, I'd be like, oh, I'm kind of tired tonight, but with a deadline, you get it done. And just to be clear, I'm not releasing 90 videos a week. Definitely not. That's crazy. That would be ridiculous. I film, edit, schedule out these videos into the future so that I actually allow myself to have about six months off of the year. I film for about six months of the year hustling hard. Sometimes three, four, five, six months. I used to get it done in about three months. Now that I have four kids, like that was when I was when I was like newly married and stuff, no kids. Now with four kids, it takes me about six months because my pace is a bit slower. Okay, still crazy pace, but a bit slower. Um, so with that being said, you know, I, I by hustling hard and setting these deadlines, right, I allow myself to actually have six months of the year off where I don't have to necessarily film anything. I usually still film a couple videos a week, but I don't have to because I'm done my work, okay, for that time frame. So that's it. You know, that's how to overcome laziness. You can too, you can as well stop being lazy. Trust me, if I can stop being lazy, the kid who would literally sit on his bed and play video games every weekend, every night, as long as he could until my parents told me I need to stop playing, okay? And, and even then I would still try and play until he literally said, Mike, stop playing now, right? You know, if I cannot be lazy and be this person who accomplishes so much, so much, why can't you? You have no reason. So get up, get it done. Let's go, baby. That's it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.